Revive is a scientifically formulated, safe and eco-friendly water-based surfactant that removes layers of carbon deposits from inside of an engine's air path. Originally developed for the cleaning and maintenance of aviation jet engines, power station turbines and large marine diesel engines, it has now been formulated for the automotive engine. We are going to show you how easy Revive is to use on a vehicle with known problems by running through a full Revive clean and showing the before and after results with tests on a rolling road. You can buy Revive either as a starter kit which includes an invertible pressure sprayer and a 750ml bottle of Revive or as a 750ml refill bottle without the sprayer. The car we are performing the Revive clean on is a 2007 Ford Mondeo TDCI. When the car is being driven with the engine under load, the power keeps surging and dropping off in a cycle. Revive works well on diesel vehicles that use variable nozzle or geometry turbos, as the veins inside these tend to stick when deposits of carbon build up around them. Revive can also be used on standard turbo, non-turbo and petrol engines. To show the effects of the Revive process, we booked the car into a rolling road centre and several runs were performed. Looking at the resulting graphs, it is very obvious that the torque and power is surging when the RPM is in the range of 2000 to 3250. This ties up with the symptoms of the vehicle when it is being driven. Let's look at the Revive cleaning process and how easy it is to do. The first important thing is the engine should be cold. If you use Revive on a warm or hot engine, the fluid evaporates too quickly and may be ineffective. The process should be performed with adequate ventilation or extraction and in a safe place, as a lot of white water vapour can be produced from the exhaust. We need access to the inlet side of the engine, so the air inlet pipe is disconnected after the mass airflow sensor. It is not recommended to inject Revive through the sensor. The Revive sprayer is invertible and is normally used upside down due to the often difficult access around the inlet pipe. To do this, we need to remove the pickup pipe from the sprayer bottle. Revive is injected in three doses of 250 millilitres each. One bottle is enough for a full clean on one engine, so we're going to dispense 250 mil into the sprayer. As Revive is injected, you need to rev the engine to a set RPM. The first dose is done at 2200 to 2500 RPM. The Revive should be injected in at this point. You need to adjust the nozzle to a fine spray so that the dose is delivered over approximately one minute and this gives the correct spray pattern at this setting. Make sure you don't accidentally lose the nozzle components down the inlet. To make a revive clean even more effective, you can actuate the turbo's variable vane mechanism with a vacuum pressure test kit. As Revive flows through the engine's air path, it is hooking onto the surface of any oily carbon deposits it comes into contact with. The action of the airflow passing over the Revive and carbon breaks away tiny particles which then get carried away through the exhaust system. Drop the revs down to idle, whilst you refill the sprayer again with 250 millilitres and inject the second dose of Revive as we did before but this time at a lower engine speed of around 1800 RPM. Due to the way Revive works, it will not cause damage when the deposits come off, as it is only acting on the surface of the carbon buildup and not dislodging large pieces. After completing the second dose, turn the engine off for three to four minutes. This step lets the fluid soak into the carbon deposit surface. While you are waiting, refill the bottle for the last time. After the three to four minutes, restart the engine and rev to 2000 RPM for the third and final dose. During this last dose, you will start seeing the vaporized fluid from the exhaust. Keep the engine running at around 1800 RPM for a short while after the injection is finished to carry all of the revive through the engine. The engine should now be left running until the vapor dies down and stops. As we've been running the vehicle without a valid airflow sensor reading, there will possibly be volt codes you will need to clear. A simple EOBD reader may not be sufficient in all cases. We are now going to take the car for a reasonably brisk 20 minute test drive, a combination of exercising of the turbo vanes and the airflow through the engine will blow the deposits out. After a few days we return to the rolling road to measure the effects. The car is already feeling better to drive. 
From the second set of graphs, we can see that the torque and power curves we saw before have returned back to normal. Revive should only be used on engines that are mechanically sound. Carbon buildups on old engines may be masking potential problems, and performing a clean on these vehicles may expose other faults. Revive cannot fix damaged, worn, or seized parts, it can only clean them. With heavy buildups, if a significant but less than perfect improvement is experienced, a second revive clean may be required. Due to the nature of the buildup of carbon in the engine, it is more than likely to happen again if the vehicle is being used for short or slow journeys. It is recommended to perform a 250ml single dose preventative treatment at every service. Revive starter kits and refill bottles can be purchased from your local distributor or for more information visit www.turbocleaner.co.uk There is also a promotional customer website at www.cleanmyengine.co.uk that helps vehicle users understand how a Revive Clean can help and where to find the nearest garage which offers this service.